Hey peeps, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring. And as always, such a pleasure to join you. We're gonna finish off this quadratic number pattern question now. So we're gonna go straight on to 4.5 and I've already done most of the work in previous videos, so go and check those out. So 4.5 says, show that all the terms of the quadratic pattern are positive. Now this is tricky, okay? And it's tricky because when we calculated the quadratic, um, quadratic pattern's general term, we noticed that well, there's, there's no way we can look at this general term and determine whether or not Tn is always going to be positive. So we need to do something that transforms this general term into something we can work with. Now, there is one way we could do that by completing the square. So let's complete the square. The first thing we do is we pull out a 3 and we are left with n squared minus 20n plus 301 and that's divided by 3. Right, now let's complete the square. So we're going to open up our square brackets. We know there's going to be a negative there. We're going to square root the first term. We're going to halve the second term, which is 10. We then immediately need to square that second term. Okay, so that's going to be minus 100. So we subtract the square of that second term plus 301 over 3. Right, now we can multiply back in. So that's going to be 3n minus 10 squared minus 300 plus 301 and finally we can look at 3n minus 10 squared stays the same and then we've got minus 300 plus 301 gives us plus 1. Right so now we've got something a little bit different but it's very useful and it's useful because we can start interrogating it step by step. So let's look first at this bracket here where the n fits in. Now do you agree that whatever n is Okay, whatever n is, and remember n can only really be 1, 2, 3, 4. So it can only be a natural number. It can't be a whole number. So it can only be a natural number. It doesn't matter what n is. Because we square it, it always has to be positive. So that's our first observation. We can say n minus 10 squared is always greater than or equal to 0. And that's for all n is an element of natural numbers. Okay, so that's very useful. Now let's add on the 3. Okay, so let's multiply 3. So if we multiply by 3, n minus 10 squared, what do we know? Well, because we are multiplying by a positive, because we are multiplying by a positive, we know that that will also always be greater than or equal to 0. Now let's add on that 1. Okay, so our last little point is going to be let's add on the 1. And when we do that, so 3n, so 3n minus 10 squared, and when we add on the 1, what happens? Now, something very important happens. If n was 10 in this instance, do you agree this whole thing would be 0? But if n was 10 in this instance, we know that this is 0, but we add the 1. So it can't be equal to 0 anymore, but it's still greater than 0. And that is the reason why this quadratic pattern in particular is always going to be positive. Very special thank you to our sponsor for making this video possible. Be sure to check them out in the description below. Also, visit our website for more of these epic tutorial videos. If you can't find the video that answers your question, then send us the question and we'll respond with a personalized video just for you. Until the next time, stay epic. <laughs>